we're just below Gallen Castle and this that I'm sitting on is Devonian Old Red Sandstone. So it was a desert sandstone. You can see it's quite red in colour. You can see there's very nice large scale cross bedding in it. So we have one bed here and another bed coming at an angle here. And you can see the grain size is really very variable. So down here there's stuff which is almost like shale, this band which is weathered away. But then as you go up through the sandstone you have quite large pebbles. And then above my head you get into a much coarser grained conglomerate. So what does that say about the environment? Well, it says that it was very variable. So these shales, probably they were sitting, it produced in an ephemeral lake. Occasionally flash floods, you get ponds and things which slowly evaporate. In fact, you get uh, fish fossils in these. And some of the earliest uh, land animals evolved from these kinds of ephemeral lakes in the Devonian. When they were evaporating, they had to evolve to be able to cope with air. So you get things like lungfish and then early arthropods. Those larger pebbles up there and those boulders, that conglomerate, that says that there was a source of rock very close by. Yeah, these haven't been transported very far from where they are weathered away. And we're only here a few metres above, maybe 10 metres above the um, unconformity with the Dalradian uh, rocks which are sitting underneath. So you have to imagine that maybe a few kilometres away there were Dalradian hills and mountains that were weathering away and all of this stuff was being washed down in flash floods. That's kind of the environment that should produce all of these things. Ephemeral lakes, large-scale cross bedding associated with the flow of the flash floods and then these conglomerates which are being moved by these very large events.